In this video, I'm going to further explore the relationship between logarithmic functions and exponential functions and show you how to convert expressions from logarithmic form to exponential form. So here's what we know so far. We know the logarithmic function is the inverse of the exponential function. If I switch the x's and y's of an exponential function and solve for y, I get the logarithmic function. We also know that taking a function and substituting it into its inverse will result in just x, or the argument of the function. A way we can summarize this is by saying that a function and its inverse undo each other when one is subbed into the other. If you represent a function and its inverse graphically, you can see that one function is a reflection of the other over the line y equals x, which explains why you get x when you substitute a function into its inverse, or vice versa. So there's a pretty helpful conclusion we can draw from these two points, and that's that if I take the log of an exponential and the base of the log is the same as the base of the exponential, the expression simplifies into just the exponent, and this is a direct consequence of the second point here. Subbing a function like the exponential into its inverse, like the log, has an undoing effect, which results in just the exponent. So let's take a look at how we can apply this conclusion to evaluate logarithmic expressions without a calculator. So I'm being asked to evaluate log base 3 of 81. The conclusion that I'm going to find helpful here is the one we just discussed. Taking the log of an exponential when the bases are the same results in just the exponent. Comparing 3 to 81, you can see that this does not exactly line up with the conclusion that I just made. The base of the logarithm is 3, but we're looking at 81 instead of a base of 3. So what we can do is apply a little exponential trick. I'm going to ask myself, is it possible to write 81 as a product of 3's some number of times so that I can write 81 as a base of 3 to some power? Remember, if I can write 81 as a base of 3, I'd have log base 3 of an exponential of base 3, allowing me to just have my exponent. Either through trial and error or a little bit of mathematical intuition, you'll see that you can turn 81 into 3 to the power of 4. I can now apply my conclusion, which says if I have the log base 3 of 3 to the power of 4, the log and the exponential undo each other, and I'm left with just the exponent, 4. Let's look at another example, log base 2 of 1 8 We're going to approach this problem in the same way, but this time I'm working with a fraction. Remember, there's an exponent law that says fractions can be written as a base to the power of a negative exponent. I want to write 1 over 8 as a base of 2. Writing it as a base of 2 will allow me to apply my conclusion and solve for my exponent. Now this is a bit of a skill to be able to recognize that 2 to the power of negative 3 is 1 over 8, but with some practice, you can get used to this. Applying the same conclusion as before, the log base 2 and the exponential base 2 undo each other, leaving me with just a negative 3. So that's just one useful way that we can apply the conclusion we made about the relationship between logs and exponentials. Another interesting problem we can solve is converting an expression from exponential form to logarithmic form. 2 to the power of 3 equals 8 is an exponential expression. It shows that if I take 2, multiply by itself 3 times, I get 8. But what if I want to represent this in logarithmic form? I can introduce logs into my expression by taking log base 2 of both sides. It makes sense to use log base 2 because I know if I sub a function into its inverse, I'm going to see these two undo each other, leaving me with just my exponent, in this case, 3. So taking the log of both sides allows me to simplify this expression into 3 equals log base 2 of 8. This can be pretty helpful when solving more complex logarithmic problems. So we've gone from exponential to logarithmic form. It makes sense for us also to look at converting from logarithmic to exponential form. Log base 4 of 64 equals 3 is an example of an expression in logarithmic form. I can apply the conclusion from earlier to convert this into exponential form. If you take a look at the conclusion, I have a base of b and my expression is equal to x. The exponential in question, b to the x, happens to be equivalent to this base to the power of this x. Or if I take this b and raise it to this power of x, I get this term here. We can say 4 to the power of 3 should be equal to 64. By writing it in this way, we've converted from logarithmic to exponential form. I hope this video has helped you understand the relationship between logarithmic and exponential expressions a little bit deeper. And as usual, thanks for watching. Thanks.